Zack, I can't... There's something that doesn't make sense in this story. I can't come to terms with the idea that he told us the truth, but I'm also struggling to understand why he would have deported our little clique to martyrdom. We were nothing to him. I was told Gloria came to Noctis not long ago. I need to see her again, to confront her about this story, hear what she has to tell me. I could go alone, but it'd mean a lot to me if you came along. I'm gonna come with you. I also want to find out what this is all about. Thank you, Zack. That means a lot to me. if what was said was true. I need an explanation, not a fight. You can't blame me. Every time I see you get pissed, but let me tell you, I'm glad it ain't me. Remember's on a hair trigger, you know? Isn't it about time we change the subject? My trigger discipline isn't so good today. Gloria, you are... Oh, no. Nisha, don't stay here. You shouldn't. Zack, I'm not a child. Let me listen. I have to know. I have to... Nisha, I heard that you had left Ophir, that you come back here often now. I know that I won't be able to see you and tell you all this in person. I don't have the courage for it. So I hope that someone will give you this message, that you will listen to this and that you will forgive me. I did something awful, something that haunts me every day, every instant, something with which I cannot live today. You, you have always been strong, so much more brilliant, prettier, and me, I was in your shadow, and I felt that I was suffocating. So I went to see a man, a thief. I knew that he could plant false evidence and that he turned in people to the ASC. I said that you knew some things about their trafficking, that you were dangerous to them, and it worked too well because they came to arrest our whole group. And during all those years spent with you in the camp, I knew that we were here because of me. When I saw how they were torturing you, when Nick died, I also wanted to die. But they refused. Today, I still carry the weight of my mistake and I can't bear it anymore. So farewell, Nisha. Farewell and forgive me. Your sister. 
Gloria. I... I'm sorry, Nisha. Come on, let's go. I'll take care of the funeral. Don't worry. Shit's all sorts of fucked up. Sorry, Nisha. Yeah. Thanks, Amelia. I wanted to thank you for all your help, Zach. Not saying I needed it, or... Or, you know. But having you beside me and all, it was, uh... It made it... It's just... You're a good guy, Zach. And it doesn't hurt that the good guy's got a face like yours. Maybe, you know, later, if you had time, we could meet up. Just the two of us. I'd be lying if I didn't think that was a great idea. Next break we have. Good. Then I'll be seeing you in your room soon. Clothing's optional. Zach? Want some company? It's yours. I think I'm falling in love. I may be too. Hi, Zach. Hello, Amelia. If you have a minute, can we talk? What's this about? Thanks to you and Scott, I got my abilities back. Doesn't make me a Technomancer, though, does it? Doesn't make me one of you. And I know you all go through a lot of training together, which I never had. Everything I know was picked up from an old renegade Technomancer who showed me some of the basics. Had to trade it for a little serum. But I'm tired of being on the outside. I just want to belong. If you, I guess, think I'm worthy or, or whatever. You're right, Andrew. Maybe it is time to initiate you. How painful is it? I guess you'll see. We obviously can't use the old site anymore, so you'll need some imagination. We can give it a go. Come on. My master brought me to a dome like this when I became a Technomancer. It was full of relics, collected by generations of Technomancers from abundance. There were old consoles there that would allow me to listen to the old recordings, discussions, musings of the settlers, and a little view of their life. The dome doesn't exist anymore. There's not much left of what we used to be. But I want that knowledge to last, so I want to tell you what I learned from my master, Sean. Before a mantis destroyed all the knowledge that was there. All right. What was your master like? He was quiet and kept to himself, but over time we still managed to grow close. 
He hated how Technomancers were treated in abundance, dreamed of freedom. He seemed calm, cool and collected, but on the inside, he was all rebel. He couldn't stand taking orders, which never goes down well. Listen, no matter how many times you're told, or how well you know that one day you're going to be separated from your parents or masters, it never makes it easier when it finally happens. And it's only harder when you have no one else to really guide you. Technomancers are my family, but Sean was like my father. It was probably hard for him, too. I had a feeling I would have liked him if I'd ever had the chance to know him. There was a pitch black circular room with a console in the middle. When I started it up, flickering bluish images appeared. A doctor examining a man. The man had apparently undergone a mutation that allowed him to generate a massive electrical charge. He was the first Technomancer, Andrew. So you're saying you and I are... Afflicted with a specific mutation that the settlers were studying. It's why they created our gear. You. Who has witnessed the secret with your own eyes. Who, in your heart, knows the knowledge that he bears is true and has understood that this knowledge could cast our kind into an endless pit of despair. As you drink the sap of the world, the water that feeds our lives, abandon who you thought you were, and now become our brother, Andrew Manser. Together, we've shared the water and secret. Now, Swear to forever protect the knowledge of the Earth, and dedicate your life to finding it, again. To defend and protect our secret, even if you must sacrifice your life to do so. I swear I will. Then, welcome, brother.
there, noob. Hello there. Ready for a fight? A challenge? Impressive. Your reward for victory.
champion of Mars! You sure damned earned it. And your reward, of course. Thanks. Zachariah.
these mutants took this canyon we were shown. Hell yeah, fucking right. There aren't many paths leading to mutant valleys that are safe from the sun. We'll find them. For a successful escape, the breakout is just half the battle. The other half is diligence. It is likely that they moved slowly and decided to stop and hide at nightfall, so I'm not worried. But a little help never hurt anyone. See anything, Amelia? Nope, but we're still far from that place you showed us. My baby's fast, but it doesn't go the fucking speed of light. One must muster quite a bit of courage to escape from a city, only to risk it all in the desert, defenseless while soldiers are in hot pursuit, or have already suffered greatly. I wonder how long they chase after them once they've left the cities. Most people think it's impossible to survive in the desert. So wouldn't they figure they could let the desert do their dirty work for them? I hope no one was wounded. Blood attracts creatures of all sorts. Predators that'll pounce on the weak. Imagine it, Zack. Walking all those miles through hostile areas, hiding and sleeping during the day. It takes courage. Once everything's been taken from you, death probably isn't a fear anymore. Rebuilding a life comes with the price of risking it. Too bad they didn't have vehicles or something to help them run. Hell, someone should build hideouts along the path to help. It takes courage. Once everything's been taken from you, death probably isn't a fear anymore. Rebuilding a life comes with the price of risking it. Too bad they didn't have vehicles or something to help them. The day is rising. They must find a place to rest, and this cave is perfect to hide them from both the men and father's son. But this cave has... He has a bad feeling. There's danger here, from the moment he wakes to... No, we've already met and defeated danger. Overcome it together. So he must... He must stop behaving like a slave. Come! Uh Don't be afraid. Scum sent me to the Newton Valley to protect you.
isn't a good time to just hang around here. We're almost a mutant valley. You have our thanks, man. Call me Zachariah. Then you have our thanks, Zachariah. They... We will not forget what you have done for us. We must hurry now, though. The day is coming. You're just an old fool, aren't you? Risking your own neck to shelter the rogue. Well, if your neck's no value to you, it's no value to me, either. I'm off to a fear. Soldiers? Abundance has fed its parasites for far too long. I think it's time we stop some of the leeching. No, stop! Listen to me! Let me... Uh! If I don't step in, they'll kill him. What a sundamn fucking prick. How the hell do you know? He's dead a couple times. Lucky for him, he knows that. We're talking though. We gotta go save Scott. <laughs> Zack, you came. I I thought that it was all over. Thank you. I wasn't gonna let those thugs kill you. But I'd like to know what you're doing here. Why did you disappear? I... I was missing abundance. I was hoping... <coughs> Anyhow, that was silly. I'm sorry. He tried to torture me, you know? He, he wanted to know where to find you, but I didn't say anything. I don't really understand how you ended up here. Anyway, let's get back. You're in bad shape. I can't figure out what Scott was doing in the desert with Alan. I better find some witnesses who saw what happened. Get to the bottom of it.
just in time. That toad could have done some serious damage. Ugh, I think I'm gonna hurl. But uh, this is rather quite fascinating. Did you know that the lichen on its back is not merely a parasite? Well, maybe you. Anyway, they actually have a symbiotic relationship. The lichen cools off the toad's skin, while the toad lets the lichen feed off the ooze. Well, oozing from its pores. Yeah, now I'm definitely gonna hurl. Thank the moons. We were able to save them. I don't know if they could have survived without our help. Scum will be happy to see they made it. The gates of Mutant Valley will open wide for you this day, friend. I'm antsy to get to town. I'm getting tired of spending night after night in this rover. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to bump you up to first class, bitch ass? No. But even you have to admit, it'd be nice to go to the bathroom with the door. I'm anxious to meet Scum. He's quickly becoming a legend around these parts. Some people in Noctis talk about him like he's some kind of messiah, even though he's only just been freed from Abundance's prisons. Yes, he has lived most of his life at Camp 19, but he has shown great wisdom since his arrival. And he is quite the speaker. I think you two will get along very well. I know not a more devout advocate for peace. Zachariah! Zach, can we... Sure. What's going on? I want to keep investigating. Remember what we found in the archives? The secret military shit and Eos Cosma? Yeah. So how do you want to do this? We gotta find a way to get into the military archives in Ophir and steal some files. We don't even know where these files are, Amelia. But maybe I know someone who could point us in the right direction. Eliza Major, my former captain, and have access to all of them. Ask her to read them and tell us what the hell's in there, then. After that, we just gotta get back to the rover and make trails for Eos Cosma. That road must have been taken dozens of times, Amelia. If your father was there, we'd have found him by now. That's not true, Zack. Nobody takes that road anymore. Not with the Shadow Paths. There's no reason to take the rovers that way, since the area's already been mapped out. All he wanted was to find that kid. We should take that road, Zack. Please. Sure. If that's what you want to try. You know it's been a long time, though, Amelia. The odds of us ever finding him alive... They don't exist, Zack. He's dead. I know that. Honestly, I just want to know why. Hey, Brad. Zachariah, how's... I've got your last specimen. Tell me you... You did! The shield toad skin! Wonderful! Oh, what you have done for science! It is... You are invaluable. I am forever indebted. You've given me years of study, and when I finally publish, you, my friend, will find your name in the acknowledgments. Zachariah, you told me you learned where Scott was from mutants. You mind if I talk to them? Like to find out exactly what they saw. 
Have suspicions about your friend, Zachariah? <laughs> Sorry. None of my business, really. You can find them in Mutant Valley. They only pass through here to pass on some information to me, including the little tidbit about your friend. Thanks. I'm gonna go find him. What's the problem? The old man's story rubbing you wrong? A little, yeah. He's fucking weird, I know, but... He any weirder than usual?
Captain, good to see you. I really need some information about Scott Seeker's son. Like, what happened to him after he got arrested? You know how monitored we are, Zachariah? What do you want? I go poking around, we could find ourselves fired. Or worse, for a mutant? Whatever we find isn't gonna bother anyone today, but it could bring some peace to the people who never stopped loving or wondering what happened to the boy. The more I learn about it, the more complicated it gets. I'm just trying to bring some peace, Captain. Just look into some dusty files. No one's gonna care. All right. Hope you're right, Zachariah. We'll dig into the archives, but it'll take some time. Tomorrow would be the earliest. Tomorrow it is. Thank you. I'll come back then. Captain, good to see you. So what did you learn? Strange things. Scott Seeker was, apparently, much more respected back in the day. He even managed to convince the army at one point that he could heal and trigger mutation. The idea of triggering mutations apparently really got some interest. And the army launched a new division and put him in charge. He even brought him a few mutants to run tests on, one of which was his son. It obviously never went anywhere. Nobody got healed. The program was shut down and the mutants, including his son, were terminated. So sad. Almost makes you want to look at the old man differently. Yeah, sure does. Thank you, Captain. What a horrifying story. To think that a father's desperation to change his son ended with getting the boy killed. It was to change him back. He didn't start off like that. You've seen how bad those bastards get treated in abundance. No wonder he was so desperate. It was a chance at a better life. I understand that. Truly, I do. However, I believe that instead of perilously trying to change his son's life, he should have protected his future. Help him live with his condition. What are you hoping to find there, Amelia? I don't know. Debris? Tracks? Just something to help me understand how a top reacher like my dad could get lost on Eos Chasma, one of the easiest fucking roads on the planet. My guess? He got into an accident. Something he couldn't avoid. It's happened to us, after all. Maybe. I just want to find out. That's all I'm asking. 
I don't... I fear I may be getting sick. Sorry, Scott. I understand that looking for the remains of your best friend is probably painful, but Amelia deserves answers. Sometimes the past just gives us answers we were afraid to know. I just hope that won't be the case this time. Even if we find the rover wreck, it'd be easy pickings for a passing scavenger or thief. So there might not be much left. The fuck you say that for? Sorry, I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Whoa, Amelia, ease up. I know you want answers, but it's probably best not to crash while looking for a crash site. You kidding me? I wonder what you'd say if we actually went fast. I guess everyone's version of moderate is different. Oh, damn. The rover's still here. I would have bet it would have been scrapped by now. Well, some parts are goners, but most of it's still here. Yeah. Look, Amelia, I'm sorry, but this time I don't have any doubt. I know. Thanks. But yeah, I knew it was dead. Yeah. Like, now <laughs> Looks like we found a tablet, and it still works. Scott, I don't know if you'll ever get this message. It doesn't really matter now, I guess. Of my own piece, I, I just need to... So many things I wish I could tell you. My last thoughts and breaths are filled with regrets. I can't even blame you for sabotaging my rover. I was supposed to be your friend. I, I was supposed to be there for you. I was supposed to try to empathize with all the hurt and fear you were going through. But all I could bring myself to care about is making you stop obsessing about your son. Make you go back to being your old self for my own benefit. To have my old friend back. It was selfish. I was selfish. Even from the outset. The only reason I ever helped was just to help bring an end to the obsessing. And in the end, my own obsession... But that goal led me to take away your son so you would stop. I wanted to take him so far away that you'd have no recourse but to give up hope. But you figured me out. You stopped me, and now I'm paying for it. I'm so thirsty. The rover is becoming unbearably hot. Unbearably hot. Forgive me, my friend, as I forgive you. Tell my daughter I'm sorry for not being courageous enough to keep her by my side. I should have fought for her. Stopped her from being taken away from me. Between the two of us, you were always the better father. Good to your boy. And here I am. Sid, never mind. Farewell, Scott. Take good care of Amelia for me, my friend. I can't even... He was here the whole time? Not even that far from Ophir! If I ever find out who sabotaged his rover, who's responsible for him dying? You find something? Yeah, I found this. There's a message on it, Amelia. One you're not gonna be happy to hear. Whatever it is, it's better than not knowing the truth. Give it. Scott, I don't know if you'll ever get this message. I can't even blame you for sabotaging. I was supposed to be there for you. I was supposed to try to empathize with all the hurt. The only reason I ever helped was just to help that bring goal an end to the obsessing. So far away, and in the end, that you tell my daughter I'm sorry, but to give up courageous enough to keep her by my side. So I should have Take good care of Amelia for me, my friend. Where 
Where the hell, Scott? Where is he? I found my father's rover and a tablet he left. You... You're a fucking murderer! And to think I called you a friend all these years! What... what are you... what tablet? What... You're gonna pay for his death. I promise I'm gonna make you pay! Amelia, stop. You heard what the captain said. Scott launched an entire military program just to save his son. He did everything he could to help him, and it was all in vain. What he did to your dad? I... It was awful. But he was just doing whatever he could to save... Look at him. He's paid enough already. I don't give a shit! I barely knew my dad because of him! I... You fucking pathetic old piece of shit! Get the fuck out! Just get out! Get out before I change my mind! Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. Sorry, Amelia. Leave me alone. This is what I feared. It is better to let the dead rest. So, you guys don't think it's kind of toasty? Amelia, look at me. You have to move on. You cannot change the past. All we can do is make the best of the time we have. Shut up! <laughs> 